Today we're at the Rose Lake Plant Materials Center in East Lansing, Michigan. The Plant Materials Center is one of 27 plant materials centers geographically located throughout the United States. These centers are part of the Natural Resources Conservation Service, which is part of the United States Department of Agriculture. The NRCS, or Natural Resources Conservation Service, delivers technical assistance to landowners throughout the United States. The plant materials centers work with vegetation and plants. They test, collect, and test and evaluate plants for use in conservation, as well as at the same time develop plant technology. Here today in East Lansing, where the center here has developed community garden guide sheets as part of their outreach effort to farmers and land users in the United States. And we're going to be discussing plant propagation racks today. This is a propagation rack that was built by the Rose Lake Plant Materials Center staff. It has four shelves on it. Each shelf can handle eight trays of plants that you would put onto it. Today I want to emphasize to you the, uh, the safety issues and operation of the unit. As you can see on this side we have plastic laid on the shelves. But as I step around on this side of the unit, you can see that we have electricity here and electricity is, a, is part of the lighting system in the, in the unit for the fluorescent lights on each one of the shelves. But it's a safety issue that must be expressed here is be cautious with the water as you have plants and the electricity. Along the top edge of the, of the shelves, we have placed this little molding here, a uh, white molding. It's a, plexi, or a plastic molding, like a screen molding, to keep the water from like seeping over the unit and getting down on off the shelf and into the electrical. When you utilize the system or the plant propagation rack, never ever water on the rack. Always remove your plants, place them on a shelf or a table or someplace that you can water the plants and let the water drain from the plants if they're moist and then replace them back onto the unit on the shelves. Never water on the shelves. This way the plants will not have the tendency to drip through, the water will come over the edge and get into the electrical. But again, you can have four or eight, eight trays of plants on these four shelves. You can get a considerable amount of plant production in a small area. This is a large unit that we built, you know, four foot lights. If your area that you're placing your unit in of 60 to 70 degree high or, you know, elevate, or, or temperature, you can also develop make a unit maybe with salvage material like lights or other lumber to make it the size that you would need for your unit, your area. So anyway, go with this. It's a nice little unit to produce plants in a small confined area.